Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Olivia and today I thought I would share with you an April haul video and some of the things that I've gotten over the past month. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and follow my Instagram, which is linked down below. So yeah, let's get into it. And if I'm touching my hair a lot, it's because I just, two things. I just blow dried my hair, so it's like really, really soft and fresh. And two, I don't know if you've noticed in my videos, but I have, so my hair, I have like an offset widow's peak. Like I have a widow's peak hairline, but it's also not even in the middle. So in my videos, it never really bothered me in person, but then I'm watching them back in my videos and my part is like always off center. I mean, it might still be off center right now, but I tried to fix it a little bit. So the hair, I'm like trying to train it to go to one side and it keeps trying to move to the other side. So if you see me touching my hair a lot, that's why. So we're in the process of training it to go back. So anyways, let's get started. I thought I would start with clothing. So the first piece is something I'm wearing right now. It's this um, like charcoal color mesh key top. Mesh key? Mesh key. The top, it's just a tight top and it's a little bit cropped. And then I also got it in um, this tannish color. Um, just a really good basic. It kind of has like a spandexy fabric. So you can totally wear it without a bra. Um, it's super tight. I got them both in extra small and honestly if they had had extra extra small I think I would have gone that size because it's a little bit big But I still love the way it fits and it's super super flattering It makes your arms look really like tiny and sucked in because of the fabric So just two great basic pieces love these they were super affordable too. I think they were like 25 30 dollars each so super affordable um, the colors are great just for great basics and I thought they would look really cute this summer when It's not exactly like super warm out or it's nighttime just with a pair of like boyfriend denim shorts and gold jewelry. And I just thought they would look really cute. So I got both of these, but they did take a really long time to come, which is understandable right now. But just if you do go to purchase them, I think it took like a good three weeks, three or four weeks for me to get them. So I think I ordered these in March and I just got them this week, but still super happy with these. And then my next piece is something I'm really excited to share with you. So this is from Poe Co. I'm really excited about this. Pauline and I spent a really long time finding something that we thought we can make like a little bit more special and personalized to us, but also like anyone else who wanted it. So we made these jackets, just these denim jackets that have, so I go to Fairfield University. So it just has Fairfield on the back three times and this really, really cool font on the back. And then just the date it was established in. I'm super happy with these. I think that they're so cool. And I've painted a few others um, for different schools and they all look great no matter like what your school is. And I think they're just so cool. And for Fairfield especially, like I don't know if any of you know or are like, familiar with the school. Obviously the people who I go to school with who watch these videos will know. But we have um, a beach where we throw a lot of our like beach parties and day parties. And I think that like this on the point would be so cute with like a pair of white shorts. Like white tie shorts. And just so cute. So summery. And it's really lightweight so you can wear it um, as like a layering piece. And yeah. I'm just super obsessed with it. I'm really proud of it. I think it's so, so cool. We don't have sororities or anything. So I don't really have any Fairfield apparel because I think the stuff in the bookstore is all really tacky and I just don't like it. So besides my scrubs, I do not have anything from Fairfield. So I think that this was like a great idea for me. I wear this all the time and the sleeves are super fun. The jackets are from Zara. So these are a little bit pricier than our other stuff that we have, but super worth it. The great jacket. And the sleeves are super, super fun on it. They have like a fringe and then the bottom of the jacket has a fringe. So I'll insert maybe a clip of me trying it on for you. So that's all I have for clothing, but I thought I would show you shoes next. I'm really, really happy and excited about this shoe purchase. And I was originally saw these shoes on Lauren Elizabeth's YouTube channel. I fell in love with them, but I was like, when am I ever gonna buy these? They retail for $750. They're not something I can like justify that purchase. So then I follow um, someone's clothing Instagram account who's like the same size as me and wears the same size and everything, which is really hard to find because I have like a size five and a half, six foot, and that's a really uncommon shoe size. So I was so happy when she posted these. These are a pair of navy blue and red Gucci loafers. I'm so excited about these. I don't think she's ever worn these because they have like a rubber sole and there's nothing like they're not worn out at all. They look brand new. The fur on the inside that they have is so fluffy. Looks like they've never been walked in before. So I'm so, so happy with these. I posted them on my Instagram earlier when I first got them in the mail because I was so excited about them. But I just think they're so cool. They're so fun. And for someone like me who wears like all 
dark colors or just like neutral colors i think that these were so fun to like spice things up and i just think with like a pair of my a goldie jeans and like a white t-shirt loose bodysuit tucked in it would just be so cute so i guess we can do i post these on my instagram story also i think but these i have lemon water in this one and coffee in this one but these are my crate and barrel mugs they're just clear mugs that i got um from crate and barrel obviously they were super affordable i think they were like four four dollars each um i bought a set of four and i tried to buy the williams sonoma ones that are like the double wall insulated ones but they were completely sold out in any normal size cup so i found these just for kind of like the meantime and i figured i could take them to my house for next year for school and i won't be upset if they break because they were super cheap i just love the way they look they're super sleek and super cute i love drinking out of them and I think they look so good. Like if you ever want to take a picture of your drink and post it somewhere, I think it looks so cute. All good things to say about those. Okay, so next we'll kind of move into like beauty and that type of stuff. So first I'll talk about nail polish because I have this nail polish on and I love it. It's just this light blue Essie color. It's called Find Me an Oasis. I got this for Easter in my Easter basket. And it's just like this really nice light blue color if you can see it. But I just thought it was like a perfect match like the Bottega Veneta blue that they use and it's just so cute it looks so good on and it makes you look tan even when you're not and I thought it was a really good transition color into summer and will definitely be like a summer staple for me this year so really happy with this I've been painting my nails this color for my little at-home manicures all the time lately love it and then next I'm really really late to this train I know this is so like 2015 I think at least that's when I heard of this first this soap and glory um, shower exfoliant is so nice I got this from Walgreens I think CVS Rite Aid that whatever you have um, it was $12 for a scrub which I think is amazing because a lot of scrubs are really really expensive and if I'm trying to exfoliate and exfoliate my whole body like I don't want to skimp out on how much product I'm using so this is a great product to use um, because it's affordable and you can really cover your whole body in it and um, the beads are a great size. They're not too rough and too harsh. It smells so good. I don't really know how to describe the, size, the smell. It makes you so, so soft and it doesn't leave. One thing I don't like about scrubs, a lot of the times when they have like oils in them, is they leave like a really thick layer of oil on your body after the shower. And if like you're trying to apply a fake tan or you're trying to, I don't know, apply lotion after or something, I just feel like there's sometimes a really, really thick residue left behind. But this thing doesn't leave any residue behind. I love this. I will be repurchasing. I already have two bottles. This is the first one and I use it almost every time I'm in the shower and it seems to be holding up pretty well. So yeah, love this. And then I purchased a few products from Summer Fridays. So the first thing I purchased was this and the boxes are really cute. So I've been keeping this in the box because it just fits down into my drawer a little bit nicer. But this is the R&R mask and it's just like a rose petal mask that is like doubles as an exfoliant. When you're putting it on, it has like little rose petal exfoliating beads, I think is what you would call them. But you let it sit on your face for 10 minutes and then you kind of buff it off and scrub it in. And then this one does, I don't mind the fact that it leaves an oil on your skin because it's leaving the rose oil on your skin. So I have really dry skin, not by like nature, but I use some prescription strength acne stuff. So, and I go a little bit crazy with it sometimes. So my skin can sometimes suffer from that and become really, really dry and flaky. So this has been really nice to rehydrate my skin. And then I just leave the oil on. I usually do it at night and then leave the oil on while I sleep. So I just really, really love this. And it smells so good. It literally smells like you're at a spa with like a diptyque rose candle burning in the back. So, so good. Would recommend this. I know that these masks are a little bit pricier. This was like $45, I think. But it's really, really worth it. And they sent me the jet lag mask. Which I wasn't a huge fan of the smell of that, but I think um, it was super hydrating. And just besides the smell, which I could definitely get past, um, it was a great product. So I was happy they sent me a little sample of that to try because I'll definitely be purchasing that one next time as well. So next from Summer Fridays is this lip um, butter balm. And it's a lip mask, but I just use it as a lip balm. And it is so like thick and creamy. And it again, smells so good. It's vanilla scented. But this stuff is great. It's super small, um, so you can just kind of stick it in your pocket, carry it, whatever, and bring it with you around. Um, but I just love it. I think that it's a great product. It smells great. It's super hydrating on your lips, really thick, and it looks really cute too. If like you wanted like a glossy, balmy look, I think it really gives you that. So 
love this product. Um, both of those. I've been, this is my first time buying anything from Summer Fridays, and I definitely will be repurchasing because their products are great. So, next up, I bought this because my skin, like I said, like was super clogged. I kind of panicked, and you know when you panic by something that's like a little bit absurd and a little bit crazy? But anyways, I did it. And so this is a high-frequency portable um, facial wand. And when I get my eyebrows waxed, I um, usually get these little red bumps right here that just kind of appear because uh, in just reaction to the wax. So I mentioned it to my esthetician, and she said okay like let me try this little thing out on you it's like a probe that emits high frequency energy and it kind of will zap your skin and clear off any bacteria that you might have on it so this is what it looks like it just has this little like mushroom top head on it and when you turn it on you can hear like the electrical current running through it and it's a little bit scary at first but it has like a huge variety of settings you can put it on so it doesn't hurt um, but if you want to go crazy and go a little more intense on it, you definitely can. But it's just meant to like reset the pH balance of your skin and just kind of clear off any bacteria you have on it. So, and it comes with a bunch of different attachments. It has like a scalp attachment, which I didn't even know you could use, but apparently it's similar to your hair follicles. And I'm all about that because I have next to no hair. And then it also has a blemish spot treater that's just a smaller version of it that you just like tap on any active blemish that you have and then it will zap it away. So I've been using this for the past couple weeks. I really, really like it. Um, I will link it down below because I got it off Amazon and I don't know how much a salon grade thing is for this, but I thought this was really, really cheap. So I was almost a little bit nervous to use it, but it works and I read other reviews on it from other people on YouTube and they loved it. So I was like, why not? Why not try it? So that was kind of like my little impulse buy that has actually worked out for me. So it's like a little at-home facial. I feel like I wake up and I look better. And like my skin feels like it can breathe a little bit more. So I have been loving that lately. Great little tool. Great tool to have, I think. I don't know. People think I'm kind of crazy when I pull it out and show them. But whatever works. So lastly, the last thing I have, I believe, um, is something I don't have with me. But I bought it online um, as kind of like a pre-order. And it's Danielle Bernstein's book. Um, this is not a fashion story. I'm really looking forward to reading it. She's like my favorite influencer of all time. She's like the OG New York influencer. I love her. Um, she puts out the best content. She's so active. Also, she has the best clothing out of anyone ever. Um, she takes the best pictures. She posts like a huge variety of content that um, is always fun to catch up on. And so I'm just really excited to read her book. I think that, and it's not too long, which I like. Definitely something nice to like take your mind off things and just like aimlessly read a book. But I think it'll also be, you know, a little bit inspiring for everyone to read. And I'm just excited to read it. And also, apparently if you take the book jacket off, it's like a really cute white coffee table book. So I'm hoping I can use that because I'm thinking of like a little room redecorate is in the future for this room. I have some plans. So I'm hoping to make a video on it when everything kind of falls into place. But right now, that's all I have for you for my April favorites and kind of like April haul video. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you're not. And I will see you guys next time.